Hello, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to create a serverless ETL pipeline using AWS Lambda. Let's first look at the AWS architecture for the AWS ETL pipeline. So the example I've taken is basically we'll be using AWS Lambda along with S3 bucket. So the user will be adding their Excel spreadsheet files and the Lambda will uh, get triggered by S3 event notification and it will convert the Excel to CSV file. And for all these things, we'll be using Python language. And in Python language, we have a library called Pandas. So we'll be using that to convert the Excel to CSV file. So I use CDK here. So in CDK, what we do is basically we have our app and I have given the app name and account ID, etc. in here. And after that, we have something called stack. And in the stack, basically, we have a Lambda ETL pipeline stack created a S3 bucket. So we can programmatically define what we need to create and some Lambda layers, which I have imported, basically, two of them are there. One is Pandas layer, another one is the OpenPy Excel layer. And the last one is the function, which we have. And in this function, we are providing the bucket name and the environment variable. And we are providing access permissions for the function to access the S3 bucket. And same way, we are adding event notification so that S3 bucket can trigger the ALT or ETL function, basically. And we can add some key filters. So we have added some key filter like .xlsx. So this is the file um, suffix that should be present so that we can trigger the Lambda function. So now let's look at the code which we have built. So in the Lambda directory, we have created a file called Lambda handler. Uh, so this code will be taken by the CDK and deployed as a Lambda function on AWS. So basically what we are doing here is uh, we are importing the pandas and the OpenPy Excel as well as the Boto3. So Boto3 is the AWS Python SDK. And we are going to creating a session using Boto3. And with that session, we are uh, getting the S3 resource. And the bucket name we are getting from the environment variable which had passed in the CDK stack. So I have two functions here. The first one is the convert XLSX to CSV. So this is just to convert, just, this is just a helper function which is used to convert Excel spreadsheet files to CSV file. And the other one is the Lambda handler. So the Lambda handler is the entry point of the AWS Lambda function. In here, we are getting the event and the context. I'm using the event. So when S3 event notification triggers the Lambda function, it passes the data uh, about the file, like the file uh, size and uh, uh, folder name basically in S3, as well as the other metadata. So I'm cu currently getting the file key. So we are going through the event records and we are getting the file key. And I'm getting the file name out of that using the split command. And um, we have to have a CSV local path. So this is just to save the CSV file when it is caught from the conversion, basically, from Excel files. Um, and here we are using the S3 resource. So using which we are getting the object from the S3. So this object is nothing but the Excel file. So we got the Excel file. And I'm having the Excel local path as, the, we are, uh, as a variable wherein we are saving the whatever the file content we are getting from the response. And then we are passing the Excel local path as well as the CSV local path as parameter to the convert uh, XLSX to CSV function. And if you go here in the function, if you see, uh, we are nothing, doing nothing but we are reading the, we are using the pandas read Excel function in which we are passing the file content of the spreadsheet. And after that, we are just saving or we are exporting that to CSV. For that, we'll have to pass the CSV file path and uh, we are saving it without any index and also without any header. Uh, actually, header we are passing as true so that header is maintained in the CSV file. So once we are converted and the file is saved in this particular location, slash TMP, slash the file name which we have and dot CSV, uh, I'm just uploading that file uh, from the CSV local path to the bucket name as in the same bucket, but inside a CSV folder, basically. In S3, we don't have a folder structure, but we can use uh, forward slashes to separate out or to create a hierarchy uh, between the objects, basically. So it will be, uh, the object will be put in the CSV uh, folder, basically, in S3. So now let's look at the demo. So I have this 
sample Excel. I'll just open and show you. So here I am having the six records with the ID, name and surnames. Let's upload this to S3. So this is the S3 bucket, which I'm having. So I'll just upload this file. Let's upload. Let's close this. So as you can see in a matter of three, four seconds, we got the CSV folder. Inside here, we can see that the file name is the same. The extension is .csv and the type is .csv. Let's just go ahead and download this. So if you see, we have received the six record which were there earlier. So this is how the ETL pipeline works. So you can change it or alter it to work with different things. Like if you want to get some data from the database and you have to create a CSV file that also you can add as a plugin basically or additional feature or something like that. So you can work with all these things with AWS Lambda. So this is all for this video. So thank you for watching.